Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and this here is going to be my second attempt at this. Uh, my previous attempt, I basically had a Charles Manson pit, and all of a sudden, would you be good? Would you be And just started talking total gibberish. So, I ended up having a shit can that last attempt and try it again, so. Um, so, again, let me intro this music. This is going to be Nine Hours in the Abyss. This is, uh, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. So they specialize in dark ambient music. So this is a brand spanking new one. He either came in, either, it, it got uploaded either earlier this morning or sometime yesterday, but basically it's brand spanking new. So let me go ahead and start from the beginning. And um, I do have this whole thing turned out full blast because uh, this kind of music here, it's actually a really quiet. So I pretty much have to crank everything to 11 just to hear it. So, anyway, um, so yesterday morning, um, same, I mean, same problem I've been having. Uh, late night, it's uh, 6 a.m., but woke up around 9 a.m. Now, instead of doing what I did the day before, where I set my stream up and then tried, uh, tried forcing myself back to sleep, which went disastrously, because um, I pretty much zonked out like, like some, like early afternoon or something. Um, my alarm went off around 1:30 p.m. But I think what had happened is I shot off my alarm and then. Oh, Lay back, lay back down again. Oops. So I ended up, uh, I, I think I said this in yesterday's cast, but, um, I ended up 30 minutes late on my stream. So I was trying to avoid making the same mistake today. And, um, so what I went ahead and did is, um, got up at, again, woke up at, uh, 9 a.m. yesterday and just went ahead and set up my stream. And then around 10 a.m., I just went ahead and did the whole stream. Yeah, and yeah, so from 10 a.m. until about 1 p.m., I just went ahead and did my weekly pinball stream, and this time around, um, I did all three games, FX3, Arcade, and Zachariah, and uh, and the whole session, too, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, I probably did slightly above average, um, didn't do downright horrible, but there were probably a there are probably a few moments here and there that just had me, you know, but, you know, nothing to really make me rage quit or throw my controller or anything. Just a few salty moments. Oh, I'm going to, I'm taking a drink of Arizona green tea. Hold on. Okay, but like, but yeah, so. I just went ahead and did that, did a morning stream, um, and then after one, and then after the stream was over, um, I just, I basically took a series of, uh, I should have, I kind of made the mistake of, uh, doing a series of, uh, two or three little naps. This is something I came up with totally on a whim, but. Lay down, set my uh, set my nap alarm for one hour, woke up an hour, but then set I set an I reset the nap for another hour. And I think I did uh I think I did three of these. It probably would have just made more sense to just set my alarm for like four PM and just actually take like a full blown three hour three hour long sleep. But it didn't happen that way. Like I said, I did this on a whim. So. So I just, uh. But otherwise, just. After that, I just went about my day. Um, I think I took, uh. I think later on in the evening, probably around. I think I did kind of the same thing around 7 p.m. Um. I think I took enough. I think, I, uh. I think I took another one-hour nap, 
got up, re and then reset the nap alarm for another hour. I, I should probably kind of explain the way my alarm clock works. I actually have two different types of alarm. I have a, a traditional, you know, the traditional regular alarm that you can set for whatever time. And then there's also a, there's also a nap type alarm where um, I think the time limit is set at two hours. Whereas your regular alarm, you can set for whatever time you want. The nap alarm is, you can uh, set for up to two hours from the moment you set it. I guess kind of the equivalent of uh, like those old classic 90s games where they had quick saves. There was like a, there was like a difference between a quick save and a full blown save. My alarm clock kind of works that same way. So, I've got a feeling that it it didn't it occur it's occurred to me before whenever I do stuff like this, but it just now occurred to me that one of the reasons why I'm getting such shit for sleep is because of all these little naps I've been taking. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that during a that. For, for the start of this work week, since by the time I get home from work, I'm feeling like such shit anyway that usually I just zonk out just like that. So sleep's really not that much of a problem. Because, again, by the time I get home from work, I'm pretty much dead to the world. So... Oh, and a, a little quirk on this video. Um, he kind of does this on a lot of other videos. I don't know. Let me... Okay, you guys should be able to see this. I wish this wasn't a 10-hour video, but like a one-hour. But um, some of these videos have like a really cool effect. If you can kind of see it. Because on a 10 hour video, the effect is like really, really gradual. Get a little closer. Oh, went off the path. But yeah, a bunch of his videos have this. Really cool effect. Plus, best of all, you don't have to be a you don't have to be a genius with editing or anything like that, or you don't have to spend five hundred dollars on a video editor or anything like that. Just, just simply, you know, move the cam, move the camera, I move the camera towards a specified point. Or you can just uh, start zooming in and one particular point on your picture. I think I could probably do it on MS Paint. I'd have I'd I'd, I'd have to I'd have to look, but anyway, I got to I got to move along. So um anyway, still still playing Crusaders of the Lost Idols. And in case I didn't mention it yesterday, oh, 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 oh. oh please don't jam up. Um, one unique thing about this idle game is, um, it's actually formation-based. It's almost like the game Darkest Dungeon, if anybody's ever familiar with it, where it's a, a form, a four-man party, but, but a positioning in, within that party is very important. Where you put your party members really makes a difference. Some play, you know, some, uh, some classes are more effective in certain positions than others. Um, this idle game here is kind of like that as well. 
I I don't know how well you can see that. I don't maybe I should go full screen. Whoops. Screwed that up. So, kind of made a bad call there. So, now I gotta fix it. Stretchy, stretchy. Okay. So, I should... I should probably kept it. This is um, I had this set. I had it set this way yesterday. Probably should have kept it the same way today. But anyway, um, like I said, this is the only idle game I could think of where positioning is important. While I'm here, let me let me bump that up. Um, but one other, you know, some of the features in this game wasn't around back when I played this game, like in the early to mid two uh, twenty tens. Like um, this little cat here, she didn't exist uh, when I played this last. She's uh basically my auto clicker. Now, I, I, and also like yesterday, like I said yesterday, um, when it comes to these idle games where you can click, you don't have to actually use the mouse button. You can turn your mouse keys on, and right now, I'm just matching the uh, the five and the plus, the plus symbol on my uh, number pad, like you know, on the right side of the keyboard. I'm just doing this. Actually, while I'm at it. Might be noisy. I'm using my OBS mixer right now. Oh yeah, anyway. I typically have it turned off, but uh I do kinda like the sound effects in this game though, so let me um let me crank it back up so you can hear the uh, ambience. But yeah, like I, like I said, the auto-clicking is one feature that didn't exist when I played this last. Um, another feature is uh, missions. This was uh, this was something that didn't exist when I played this last. Like you got uh, we got these characters down here at the bottom that are warm on the bench. it up again but yeah um because otherwise back when I played this see right now you can have up to 10 people in your formation but I got six here eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty yeah, you can have a... Right now, I currently have 20 characters on my roster, so you can only put... You can only have, like, half of them active. So that left with about 10 characters that were sitting down here at the bottom collecting dust. So, but now, 
with missions, you can um you can send your bench warmers out to do stuff. So But uh the way it's looking right now, this is um Definitely something I'm gonna be playing more often. But um I kinda complained about I kinda said the same thing about clicker heroes. It's um I'm kind of anticipating the same thing in this game too. There's gonna eventually I'm about to reach a sticking point where I'm basically gonna be forced to just uh, level up level everything up in offline mode and just check back like every day or so. I'm already doing that with Cookie Clicker. I'm at a point now where I just can't do shit on that game. I go on, I go on and just, usually there's nothing to upgrade and then quick save it and then and end the game, end the game, so. Um, and then another thing, another thing that happened yesterday is, uh, Evo, um, for those that don't know, um, Evo is the, uh, it's the fighting game equivalent of the World Series. It's like the, it's like the ultimate tournament, the ultimate fighting game tournament, but, uh, they announced their lineup yesterday. And, um, I just, uh, I think I went on various channels, uh, Panda. I was gonna check out Maximilian, dude, and see what his reaction to, and see what his reaction was, but for the most part, the hype is lost on me because most of these games I'm not even gonna be playing. Most of these games I don't even care for. About the only one, about the only one out of all that I care for is uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, and even then I'm still I'm still pretty new to the game. Um, Skullgirls, not a Skullgirls, I'm kind of, it's kind of hit or miss. I mean, I love the soundtrack since jazz is my favorite music genre. Okay, but uh, I gotta, I gotta take another drink. But uh, Street Fighter Five, um, I can't stream that game. I can probably barely play it if I turn to have the graphic settings at the lowest. But after that, if I do that, it looks kind of like ass. Like it looks like an abstract painting. Guilty Gear Strive, kind of the same thing. I can't stream it. It's uh the game's too resource intensive, and my computer's uh my computer's a potato. Mortal Kombat 11, same thing. Tekken 7, don't really care for it. I played Tekken 2, but it was just eh. I played it just because it was there at the time, like back in the 90s. King of Fighters. Um, I think 15, statistically, there is no way in hell my computer can handle it. Plus, King of Fighters is a franchise that just kind of goes over my head. Um, Melty Blood, I've played, uh, Actress again. I actually, it's actually an alright game, but not something that I, that I want to play consistently. Um, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, I don't... I played one of them, either Grand Blue or Blaze Blue. It's one of those where it's got special. It has uh, motion inputs, but you can uh, you can also do the do one button specials. But if they go on cooldown, if you do, I don't know which one that is. I've played it like once. So basically, basically that leaves uh, Dragon Ball Fighters being the only game I really give a shit about. There was, there was something else. There was something else I was wanting to talk about too. Um, it, it might be a trouble. It might be a bit troublesome to pull up. So it's gonna be a minute or two. I gotta look and see if I if I still have it. 
Okay, I still do. So there's two things I need to pull up. It's, it's a, it's actually, actually it's a video, but I don't, I don't want to go, I don't want to go chasing it down because uh, it's going to be too messy to deal with right now. Still working on it. I'm still working on it. those that have seen my previous cast are familiar with this um another one of uh another one of Janet's games that she ran was uh was also another game that I played the hell out of back in the back in like the late 80s early 90s uh super dodgeball but yeah I, I, like I'm watching some of these videos I'm like god damn this is a trip down memory lane Number two, I'll just go ahead and um, I'll post a link. I'll post a link to the video. So, but yeah, but yeah it's um, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll try to remember to post a link to the to the dodgeball video. But yeah, that was another trip down memory lane right there. Damn, this girl is oh, this girl is full of all sorts of surprises. And then you know, let, let, let's not forget that uh, she's been uh, she's been creating content for for I want to say like uh, 14 years now. So she's she's been doing this for quite a long while. So, but otherwise. Otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, though. Um, so I said all the things that I wanted to say this morning, and let me go ahead and adjust this real quick. I'll do it now before I forget later. So, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, and um, this will be my last cast for the week because um, my work week has started up, so... So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that's my work week. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, But otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, once again, I 
I should be on again probably Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.